Lightning Reclam. Și Scobie Ball Lightning Reclam. Iero Patel, Ierlou. Romalu naar Russell, Russell ze aangee, verkoopt daar. Russell wat weer niet aan, ik krijg nog een En dit kan een hoogtepunt wees, zijn eerste wedstrijd in de VP3. Hij is vandaag, hier gaan de drie komt voor Applen. Wat een oomlijk voor hem. Ja, ik denk mijn voorstel, Scobiebal uit was toen hij niet zo slecht geweest. Hij, want al wat nou gebeurd is, nou lijkt die telling nog slechter voor die shot. Ja, het wordt nu een groot pak slaan, maar Applen, wat een oomlijk voor hem. Zijn eerste wedstrijd. Een trainer die tweede keer dat hij in die bal vat. Butch James. Hakt op kans voor die nieuwe voorheen van Harris. Achter hem die weerpje. Luke Watson. Applen. Tomani Boy. Dat is hij een Nobel. Klopt bij daar van Nobel. Applen met die bal. Prachtig voor jou. Ik kom eens gaan dan Thomas Kapendre van Geel Applen. Maar money for Komani Boy. Zo arme werk. Toch je een hele beweging mee. Absoluut. Als je die Applen niet is, kut er een rugby speler niet. Robbie Harris. Goed gesteld hier, Luke Watson. Peter Graan. Prachtig raak gevallen hier, Corne Eis. Zoek je aansluiting. Bola Conradi naast Olivier. Van de aftrap, die ondersteuning moet bijkom. Prachtig hard, de kaas en geel appen. Zijn je zes op de drie. Maar schitter spel ook van 9 seconds. Ja, het is een drie wat hier gedrukt wordt. Corne is. Bola Conradi. De six. Vips. Huxley. Huxley. He's about a meter out. Vips. Gerard. The Stormers are going to have the last say here. Aplon runs away. They had numbers. All they had to do was pop it a bit higher. One of the smallest men on the paddock snatches it as Laurie Fisher just has his hands over his eyes. He can't believe it. The fourth try goes begging. The Brumbies win it. I see Paul Delport on as well with the pass. Now Dysel. The cross kick. Which way does this bounce for Aplon? Safely so. Superb kick across field. And the perfect bounce. Wonderful. Step. Delpo for the ball. Free. And a good offload from Vickers Bla to Francois Lowe. Did well not to get turned in the tackle. Bobo sniffed a half gap. Not quite there. Quick recycle for Delport. Good hands from Deval and Newman. Now Shavanga and Wally Himan. The pass inside to Aplon. He's got great speed. Jeremy scores. <laughs> Tied at 17 apiece. With just over six minutes to play. A wonderful backline move from Western Province. Spice with a take at the tail. Now this is an area which the French were really worried about having watched the tape of the game against Wales. The South African ball. They said throughout the week they didn't want to kick the ball out for fear of South Africa using the ball. Now Aplon is away. Nale, strong drive from the big second row forward. Para, Rougerie, who like scored Simon. the French try in the first half, brought down five meters short. Jean Baptiste Pou, Para again, really on here for the French. If it can go quickly through the hands, it can't. Then Aplon is away. Gio Aplon takes on his opposite number, Poitrano. Second 
Just try. <laughs> Completely against the run of play. But such pace. A situation with, well, there are 11 minutes to go. Two scores required by Western Province. And the Bulls have done well here again. Victorious at scrum half. Finding Portsky to pace, gets it away to Rallapella. And this could be it. This could be the chance. Look at the acceleration. Gio Akron. And a very sloppy play by Western Province has opened it up. Uh, by North, the Blue Bulls, rather has opened it up for Western Province. Stian Kemp with the carry. Duval. Dion Faree puts Francois Lowe into a half gap. Protection of the ball is still very good from Western Province. De Kock, Stian Kemp. And Habana straight up the middle he goes. He had Akron outside. The chase from Habana. Gets it away to Akron. Surely now, Western Province are cantering away to a Curry Cup final in Durban. Ninth try of the season for Gio Aplon, the third highest scorer in the competition this year, behind Bjorn Besson and De Villiers, Matfield out wide relentless power from South Africa. Duplessis, Bismarck, the hooker. Ireland keep making the tackles. But as their bodies tire, you feel the gaps will come. Habana does well to hold on as O'Driscoll stuck out an arm. Lambi. Matfield again, this time he's missed. Here's Kirshner, Aplon comes back on the angle, the big gap opens up. And the simplest of tries for South Africa. Ireland had the numbers there. Aplon came back on the angle and the gate opened and he walked straight through. Well, it's been coming for so long, they've eventually managed. Touch. Pause. End game. Uh, all penalties so far. Plenty of movement in the game. Just signs that the Stormers are getting into their work. De Villiers now, and uh, Aplon runs a beautiful angle and into the hole too. Gets around Mulyaina, stepping, still going. He could go all the way. What a brilliant try. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, there you go, the bench are reliving it, reenacting it, but there's only one bloke on the paddock that's capable of scoring a try like that. That is impressive. South Africa attempting to counter up. That's the 10 metre line, South African territory. Berger again. Again, solid clean out and protection of the ball. Turnover. Trouble here. Lovely pass from Hogarth to Eklund. He's just too quick. We talked about the turnovers. A first World Cup try for Gio Eklund. And South Africa quick to punish. Well, again, it was well controlled by Namibia. Two or three phases. The forwards taking it up. And they took another one. Running out of numbers. Back to Aplon. Looking to take advantage of this tiring Namibian defence. Smith. Lovely offload there and well taken by Berger. Furi de Priya then. Pina playing a fly half. And here's Hogart on the wing. Brilliant work from Furi. De Jong looking for another one. The Beast and Tarawira. De Priya. Number two. Oh, that's a great pass from the captain, Johnny Schmidt. Saw that Aplon was unmarked out on the right. In a 
defence from Gio Aplon. Already made a very fine tackle in this game. Camille in a way for Van Aswegen. It's a bet. Not only is he a line out forward, he's tasked with carrying the ball up as well. This is promising for the Stormers. Aplon with a shot of the ball and a burst of acceleration. Aplon is on the board. Well, it's their first tournament try of the season. It wasn't at a beauty. Straight from the halfway line, Gio Aplon latched onto a lovely pass from Scott Berger. Did the show and go. And Touch! Pause! Too early. The Highlanders. So quickly taken. And off goes Habana. Swings it wide. Could catch the Highlanders here. But uh, Peterson goes to the boot. And he did have a couple of players outside him. Smith commits. And uh, Treby gets it. It was knocked back. And so Sean Treby, he's a very good ball carrier. Seven moves. Uh, not getting much change out of the Stormer so far tonight. Now the inside pass and snapped on, kicked away by uh, De Villiers. Heading back, trying to defend. And now the race is on. And Aplon is the first man there. And he looks uh, pretty sure, Gio Aplon, that he has picked up the first try. It was a mistake by the Highlanders and the pace of Aplon. And it looks like the first try has been scored and is given. There is pressure, strong defence coming forward, no, no, getting wants... that ball on the ground. And unfortunately for the Highlanders, the advantage just came over and they forced the ball in the end. And remember, they're missing three of the big guns. Becker, Berger and the Billions, 248 Super Rugby caps, 164 Test caps. Them. And here's Duane, Duane Duong. An opportunity now as Grant gets it out to Aplon. Great try, Stormers. Oh, it's too easy. Peter Grant straight through through the pass while he was still tackled. And he does this so well, Geo Aplon. Just hovering inside and outside of the fly half. His third try. Second season of Super Rugby, played just four games last year. Now you're done. He has burst onto the scene in the past few weeks. Burst onto the ball every chance he gets as well. Really explosive at the ball. Another strong carry from Alberts. Now Michelak. Well, it was intended for him to go anywhere. Now Aplon in a foot race with Patrick Lambie. And Aplon is going to win the battle. First try for the Stormers. But off a bad Sharks mistake. Yeah, dead right off a terrible error. Shocking pass it was. But those things happen. That's a good stealer oh. of the ball on the Here floor. You. Genuine fetcher. Old. Better scrum from the Stormers. Oh. And Aplon. Burst up the middle. Gio Aplon. Wow. So it's not over yet. Aplon, try number two. Absolutely brilliant. The shots were calling for a forward pass. Aplon didn't think so. Away he went. The timing of the move was just perfect. Going to be penalised. Such a fine line to tread. Awkward ball for Duvenacher on the tap from Becker to Young. Dion Ferry slipping through the tackle of Hendrik Root. Just providing this little bit of momentum now to Villiers. Gerard van and here for what ran a pretty good line, but Butch James standing up strongly in defence. Becker, Grant, and now Donny Pullman. Wonderful run from Pullman, straight up the middle with one to beat, and a vital oh, ankle tap made. Eplon to Villiers, and van and here Comes once again for Grant. Becker. Khaleesi. And the pick and drive from Andres Becker. Duvanaka. Grant. Through the hands to Eplon. Wonderful Stormers try. Number six of the season for Gio Eplon. Alistair Gutierrez must be a man under pressure at this stage. Backwards. 
It's well done by Jean de Jong. Now Khaleesi. Grant. Joe Appon is all on his own here. He just needs the bounce to score. There it is. Is that the floodgates opening? Well, the first try of the game after 53 minutes, it almost seemed too easy. But what a well judged kick by Grant. And Eplon, nobody close to him. Any... Khaleesi in midfield. Excellent tackle. From Tim Whitehead as Havana. Just couldn't squeeze through the half gap. Grant. Sharks defence reorganises once more. It's a bit. These are going to be the energy sapping moments for the Sharks. And for Ree, for Becker. Promising here from the Stormers. Liebenberg, De Villiers, and Eplon! Brilliant try! His eighth of the season. Is there as of Gerard van Herfer with the Stormers having a scrum advantage? Then Elstad, good physical carry from the Stormers' blindside flanker. Yankees, beautiful hands from De Jong and De Villiers, looking for Akron to his inside, but it was a good defensive line run by the Brumbies, just cutting off the supply to Aplon. But Elstad has front football again. Penalty advantage now for the Stormers. And Eplon is clean through. Eplon with one to beat. Gio Eplon! Oh, brilliant! Well, the fans have erupted because of a piece of individual brilliance from that man, Gio Eplon. It was Probably on to go left now. Sit! Going to have to go right here, and off goes uh, Vermeulen. Does just that. Loud on the tackle of uh, Perinara. Here's Aplon rolling, stretching, trying to get there. Has he got it on the grass? That's the question. And the try has been awarded. Well, it was Mike Fraser that I think Steve Walsh went to. He had a, he would have had a superb view of it. So, Cassandra Buerta, who's all alone at the back and does pretty well to run, run his way out of trouble. Brilliantly well, in fact. But ripped off him in the tackle. It's very loose here as Eplon shifts it for Skirda. Delindy. Skrida again, Eplon the first receiver, and straight up the middle goes Eplon, Gio Eplon, turning Bosch off, 